that was rude. Let me tell you about what we did today. Water temperatures were in the high 70s to low 80s. And we had a weird tide in the middle of the day where there wasn't really much of a difference between the high tide and the low tide. And then we did have a good tide move of water coming in for that later afternoon high tide, which is when things tended to pick up. So first thing in the morning, I just love throwing a top water. It's just hard not to. This is probably my favorite color. Rapala Skitterwalk SW11, which is the larger size. Black back, gold side, orange belly. It's just got a great knock to it. And we were seeing some activity, some mullet jumping on the flat. So I went ahead and just threw this in about a foot and a half of water, walking the dog really slowly. Yeah, well, it's gonna be a while, but <laughs> he's definitely an edible fish. I knew it was about to happen for one of us. He's coming to your left toward your lure. I knew they were out here. I kept saying, man, I'm seeing all this action. And he's gonna do the bottom of the boat game. You know how they love doing that. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice one. I'm trying to see if I can get his head up. Beautiful. 22. Not as big as I thought, but feisty. So then as we were drifting along, the action started to slow down and they really weren't hitting lures. But I noticed a, uh, well, Al and I noticed a redfish that was just sitting on the, just sitting there doing nothing. And as we got close to him, he spooked off. So I kind of knew I needed to slow some things down a little bit. So I put a piece of cut bait under a popper cork, threw it out. This redfish he hears the popper cork hit the water. He immediately smells the cut bait and his reaction is just eat the popper cork. So he comes up, destroys the popper cork, quickly realizes that's not food, is all fired up, sees the cut bait, grabs that, cork goes under, fish on as you're gonna see right here. I got him. I mean, right when he hit the water. Yep, redfish. Ooh, nice one too. Ooh, it's right behind your butt. You're doing good today. I'm not doing crap. That's a big red. That may be oversight. You know that? Yep. He loves that boat, don't he? <laughs> 24 and 3 quarter. So later in the afternoon when we had the high tide come in, we went back up closer to the shoreline, maybe to find some bigger trout uh, or some redfish. Root beer, chartreuse tail, DOA cow. So what I did was I said, you know what, this lure combination here is working, so let me just kind of throw it and see what happens. Well, check out what happens. Yep. Golly. Yeah, my drag won't loosen up for some reason either. There we go. <laughs> Bye, Tony. 
Yeah, got that root beer chartreuse tail DOA cow. Right on the bottom? Or? Yep, just reeling it slow right along the bottom. One, two, three spots on that side. One, two, three, four, five on that side. Five, six, seven, eight. Really cool. Wow, well, that was rude. <laughs> Did you see him pipe it? Golly, son. Uh-oh. He's about to make me go under the boat again. They're jerks, aren't they? Here, will you get him? I'm gonna put the pole down because uh, this is a good spot. That's a good rig. There's one following him too. Yep. Four and a half. Yeah. Now I'm wishing I didn't have that 22. I'll get him. Don't worry. I mean, if he gets off, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> nah, we're all right. Stay over here. Nope. He said, you know I won't go to the bottom of this boat. <laughs> Being a jerk. <laughs> He's being a jerk. He's being a pain in the butt. Nice, scrappy. Gosh, he, the whole time he was just drumming and flipping. Yeah, it's Mr. Red. Yeah, it's Mr. Redfish. No, I got it. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> Boy, he wasn't going nowhere either. Let me show you how I rigged this. So you simply take the lure, you put this 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 uh, the spring right up to the front, and you just start twisting. You're just going to twist it on until you've got it on. Now you you look and see where that hook should come out at. You just line it right up, see where that hook should come out at. Mark that spot, and then put your hook in and out, just like that. Now. It's not really technically weedless, but you see that hook point is very close to the body of the lure, and so it, it is pretty weedless, okay? It doesn't really get hung that bad in the grass. Got a little weight on the bottom, and all I was doing was throwing it out and reeling it very slow, just slow enough where it wouldn't touch the bottom. Uh, and sometimes I would pause it, twitch it, and then keep reeling again really slow, and the, the redfish were absolutely crushing this. Thanks guys for watching as always, and we'll see you next time.